Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number two of this Let's Play Napoleon Total War, the Italian campaign uh, series. Uh, yeah, where we left off on the first one, we have started our advance north. We took the settlement here of uh, uh, Coney, I guess. Uh, or, uh, yeah, Cun Cunio. Um, God, pronunciations are going to be so bad in this game. Uh, yes, yeah, so we took that settlement, and we uh, are advancing north to Turin, but I do want to thank James Fox commented on my last video and said, it might be worth going and taking the settlement of Genoa first yourself, because when I take Turin, um, if you look at which one here, objectives, uh, if I take Turin, I get uh, Sar uh, Piedmont Sardinia will become my protectorate, which means all these settlements become my protectorate, but can I trade through a protectorate? Like... You know, I might be able to get a trade agreement with something like Tuscany or other Italian city-states down here with a land connection, and having Genoa will kind of will connect those provinces. So, uh, what I'm actually going to do in terms of results is I'm going to back up this force. I, I don't really have the funds to train up more army right now. I got 470 income per turn. That's pretty, it's pretty low. But what I'll do is I'll bring this force back here to the settlements. This will be just as a defense for defensive purposes. And my Napoleon force, which actually honestly could really use some replenishment. We are going to start moving them on the march towards um, towards Genoa. And I do think that's a really smart move to trade income will go a long way right now because I'm making like no money. Uh, and we have a moderate replenishment rate. Uh, obviously this supply post really helps 8% replenishment in, in the region. So we should get a good replenishment in this force uh, between turns there and uh, over the course of the turn and then we can advance. There's our big fight we did last time. And yeah, I have 806 available right now so I don't actually have the ability to upgrade anything. I don't want to trade anything because I don't want to lose out on income. Uh, I think early game here, this is just going to be a lot of kind of ending turns to be honest. And uh, yeah, I mean, where do we like two minutes into the video? Let's end the turn and see what happens. There's Piedmont Sardinia. So I play a lot. I, I've played a lot of EU4 over my uh, um, time gaming in general, and so I'm very used to calling them Sardinia Piedmont instead of Piedmont Sardinia because in EU4 there are the nation is Sardinia Piedmont. So on one hand, I do want. I think maybe like letting a, another turn of replenishment go could be really helpful. Um, but I, I think honestly, we we probably just need to to go and move towards Genoa and let's go take it. Yeah, very, um, very limited uh, defense here. Uh, Austria does have a little force there of a couple uh, cavalry units. Are those dragoons? Yes, they are. If we go to diplomatic relations and we look at Piedmont Sardinia, uh, they are allied with Austria. So if I fight, I would be fighting those armies together. Um, yeah, and then here, this army, I'm just kind of using it as a defense force. They'll replenish. I mean, maybe, maybe I recruit in another unit here. It'd take two turns for a, uh, you know, top line line infantry, like another fusiliers of the line. All right, we'll bring in two more units of those. It's going to really hurt my finances when they train in in two turns, but hopefully taking Genoa will give us some additional funds there. On to the next turn. All right, little one unit of reinforcements it looked like from Piedmont Sardinia, and then they kind of moved away, so that's fine. Austria stayed put. Building constructed. Uh, okay, good. Cuneo got the roads. Uh, that's pretty big because the... I mean, well, it's just good because the roads give more per turn the town wealth in the region in addition to replenishment rate and uh, campaign movement map range. Uh, so you can see here... Whoops, if we go into the town, it is now uh, even at zero growth per turn, but it was losing before, so at least now it's stagnant. And then down here in Nice, uh, we are still growing, you know, ever so slowly. Uh, and then in three turns, we'll get roads and we'll start growing a bit faster. Uh, let's go... We could attack the army that's outside the city. Um, and then I think the city garrison wouldn't be able to join the battle. It would just be the two units that are in the city. Uh, I was... Right? Yeah, it's just the units that are in the city, I think. Yeah, not the city garrison. So that's good, because that's a very small force. Go hit them. All right. Yeah, so we, we have a, you know, we have the big advantage. Actually, oh, the city is involved in the fight. Okay, that's cool. So this works a little differently than some other Total War games. Um, yeah, there's the Austrian force. Very not large. Uh, let's just take our army back it up slightly. How are we looking, like, terrain-wise? I mean, if we were to position our cannons here, they'll have a clean line of fire. Uh, I don't really see... 
I mean, there's a slight hill behind us, but not enough that's worth taking that range away from the cannons. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to position our cannons. We'll unlimber. And our cannons can be positioned basically right here on the road. And, uh, yeah, I don't want them to be in the sunken area on that side. Let's pull them there. Why is that unit positioning slightly more forward than the others? Alright, that's good enough. Yeah, they should have a good line of sight at the enemy troops from there. Uh, we're going to take you off fire at will. And then our line infantry will we'll advance in. I do want to just be a little bit careful. The Chessers, we're not going to use this unit in the fight here. Uh, they are incredibly weak from the last fight. There's only 29 of them, as you can see here. And then what do we have here? Another. Oh, we have two units of Grenadiers of the line. All right, left flank. Napoleon and his cavalry. There we go. All right. Start battle, and let's immediately... You know what? Just go ahead and fire at Will. Fire at uh, the Dragoons, please. Let's see if we can't get any good shots in on their cavalry. There we go. Did we get anything? Yeah, we killed five right off the bat. Got a nice line of them. And they they're, looks like they're, they're definitely... They might be charging the cannons here. So we're going to move our men out here to position to guard our cannons as much as possible. But yeah, we're, we've actually taken out about fi almost 15 of them here just from the cannons. Cannons, why don't you change your fire onto those German fusiliers? I think my line infantry, when they open up here, will be able to deal sufficient damage. And then these guys should open fire. There we go, yeah, they're taking them mostly out on their own here. Yep, there they go, and they routed. That makes sense. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Yeah, there we go, the suicidal charge did not work for them. Oh, our cannons got a nice hit. And cannons, yeah, why don't you fire at the other unit of Dragoons? We'll just keep taking them out, we have the range advantage. Front line, shift back into a position this way. But still taking some shots at the routing dragoons. See that cannonball? Oh, just over their head. Here come more shots. Nope. Oh, there's a hit. Hello, the I hit the man right off the horse. That's amazing. Yeah, do the cannonballs bounce in this game? I know in real life, you know, the cannonballs would would bounce, right? Do they do they bounce in this game, or do they just kind of hit the ground and stop? Uh, looks like they might just kind of hit the ground and stop. That's okay. Oh, oh, there was a big hit. Maybe they do bounce. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, I got a couple nice hits on them here. Let's switch over to canister shot. They're almost in canister range. We're going to switch to canister shot, fire at will, wait for these men to get into range here. Once they are, the canister should uh, do some serious, serious damage to them. Alright, they should be in range now, let's see what the canister can do. Come on, hit them. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really taking him out. There we go. The line infantry have opened up as well. Yeah, we can pull our grenadiers out here. We actually killed their general. That's good. We're getting some return fire on us. But well, next round of canisters coming, and yeah, that 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 wiped them out. Yeah, that canister shot is devastating. Why don't you guys go back to? Round shot, and then okay. What do we have in the terms of in the way of enemy reinforcements here? We got a unit of infantry over there. Where are they? There we go. And two units of infantry over here. All right, not much. Uh, nothing that should be an issue to go hit. This is gonna be a good. I think our cannons should get some good experience this fight. They, they've done a lot of damage themselves here. And there we go, the Dragoons have routed. Alright, so why don't we take our two units of Dragoons and our two units of Grenadiers of the line, and 
couple of those guys, and you can go take out that one unit over there. Cannons, stop firing, please. We have men that are going to be marching in front of you. And then our other units here, that's we're going to go in advance and, and focus on them. All right, everybody go. We'll speed up here. All right, our men are mobilizing, moving towards the city. Yeah, we want to, I like this little hill right here. Let's see if we can't get, go ahead and set up position there. Then these guys, they're kind of advancing in towards this church. Let's see if we can't set up a nice long line. Might not get there in time. I want this ridge line up here is nice. Let's see if we can't get there ahead of them. I remember, do they have the animations of the units jumping over fences in this game? Oh, they do! I love it. <laughs> I remember when that came out in Empire. I was like, that's so cool. Alright, this flank. Line infantry. Position, please. Dragoons. Alright, some of our lines should be opening fire any second now. Engaging here. The rest is still getting in position. There we go, there's some opening fire shots. Dragoons are opening fire as well. Dragoons, let's press in on them. Make sure you get get your shots off. And once they're weak enough, we can charge in with the Dragoons. You men, advance forward. There we go, alright. How do I... Oh, melee mode, right. Go ahead, Dragoons, charge them. You men, stop. Charge them, go, go, go. Charge the Dragoons over the fence. Yeah, I love the animations. It's cool. Run them down. And they've routed. There we go. Good job, Dragoons. Men on this flank. Are they pulled back? Yeah, they've pulled back a bit. Right, let's go ahead and advance our line, please. Our Dragoon units, if you guys could come join over here, that'd be lovely. Yeah, they're setting up, it looks like, in a weird position, kind of on the downslope of the hill. Very interesting strategy. Alright, men, advance forward with speed. It's time to engage. Oh, I missed a unit. Advance forward with speed. It's time to engage. We're going to close the di close the distance on them. Here come our dragoons. Off melee mode. There we go. Should be yeah. Should start trading shots. There we go. All right. Good job. We're just gonna go ahead and get in on them here. We have the numbers advantage. Let's go use it. Dragoons with charge. Immediately supported by infantry. Yeah, there we go. These units have engaged as well. Perfect, there we go. Melee brawl. One unit's routing. They routed out. Let's go get the other one out. Everyone turn and charge in this direction. And there we go, and that's victory. And that's how you press a numbers advantage with some cavalry right there, that's for sure. Should be it. Yep. 
Ends battle. All right. Yeah, we lost very minimal men there. Did we gain any experience? It's kind of. It's always tough to tell with these chevron systems. But yeah, I mean, I think we did gain some. Knocks the reinforcements out. Now we basically just have the city with its garrison troops. We can go assault. Okay, so um, when I went in to do this battle the first time, the, the game crashed on the loading screen. So I had to load from the last autosave, which is when I ended the turn. Uh, basically, I just auto-resolved the battle that I, I just previously fought. So um, I lost like 94 men in the auto-resolve instead of like 60 like I did when I fought it myself. So if you notice that the numbers are slightly different down here, that's why. But otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and we will start this fight up. Uh, yeah, we got a nice position up on a hill here uh, for the artillery. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let's unlimber. No, okay, that's fine. Unlimber. Yeah, so that's that's why if you notice any of the numbers are slightly different. That's the reason. Just uh, unfortunate game crashing type situation there. Nothing I can do about it. All right, start the battle. Artillery should open fire right off the bat from our position atop the hill. There we go. Oh, big devastating shot. Start off well, killed. It killed five, but that's pretty devastating, you know. Um, Alright, we'll move our infantry line here forward. Don't really like this little valley. Yeah, the Grenadiers, you can position on this little... This nice spot here. Yeah, these, like, town... City, you know, units... City watch, not city watch, but like you know, get city garrison units. There, they should not pose too much of a threat. Should not be in the operative word. Yeah, we'll let our we'll let our cannons just kind of keep taking some shots here as our infantry advance. And we've reached our current positioning for the front line. Let's push forward slightly to get up out of this little mini valley that's here. Grenadiers on the flank, please. And cannons. Yeah, that's enough firing from you. We'll let our infantry handle this one. We're still at a very steep downslope. Very steep downslope. Gonna rush our men up to the front here. Fire across this roadway. And we should see there we go. The whole line open up at once. Perfect. You men. We're gonna advance on this flank. Rapidly, please. They're good. They're quite. They are significantly closing the distance here. This is uh, this is tight range. Uh, look at this. Second barrage coming from basically point blank range. Oh yeah. Keep moving, men. Are they gonna engage here in melee? I'm not really sure what this what is going on right here. Alright. Is it melee fighting it is? Very interesting strategy from these men. From the AI here. Let's see, we did some grenadier grenade throws here. They have to get really close to do this, but here we go. Throw your grenades, men. There we go. Let's see how devastating this is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and now charge! Jeez, look at that. My god. Alright, 
right, yeah, we've routed that whole flank. We'll push in. These, I mean, these are city watch units. They should not pose a, any sort of threat to, like, a, a grenadier, right? Definitely not. There we go. We got their general. Yeah, and their whole line is collapsing. There we go. All right, that was pretty easy. It's nice when it doesn't, uh, when it doesn't crash out on you. All right, heroic victory. I'm actually surprised I lost 128. I guess, you know, melee combat, that happens. Uh, we'll peacefully occupy. Region captured. Um, let's see, does that help? That should help my finances a good amount. Yeah, we're making more money. Uh, 440 we get from this settlement. Uh, although it is, again, another one that's negative growing per turn. Do I have my taxes high or something? I actually don't have an option for a tax slider. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what that clicking sound is that the game's making right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, can't really recruit anyone useful here, I don't really have the money to do anything. So, yeah, and then it also comes with this settlement, a town, which gives the 8% replenishment in the region. So this army should replenish fairly quickly. And this army's still in position, let's end turn and end this insufferable clicking sound. Alright, it went away. I have no idea what that was. Uh, we got our recruitment. Yeah, so we're back down to making 500 something a turn, but we bring in two the additional fusiliers of the line. And, um... Yeah. I think, let's go ahead and let's see, I should have done this last, uh, okay, so I, I actually can't trade with Tuscany still. The ports are full. What is with the sound right now? I just don't know, can't I get a land connection here for trade? Guys, I have no idea what this is. Alright, it's an effect. We're just gonna turn that off for the time being, because that was uh, absurdly annoying. <laughs> um, Alright, so we will make a move on Turin now. I would love Napoleon's army to be the one to go do so. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna take the army that's here, and we're gonna move that towards Genoa as a protection force. And we're gonna take Napoleon's army. And we're going to move it towards uh, Cuneo and towards Turin. And that should be good positioning for the turn. Again, nothing I can build, so quick end of turn. I, I think this is, is this is either just, I think it's because the campaign is so small and localized that um, I can't, like sometimes there's just not really too much, you know, happening on any, on any given turn. Um, you know, frankly, I, I just... Uh, because it's, so it's just going to be quick turns overall. Uh, we could upgrade the Magistrate, which gives more region tax rate and some additional repression, but that's... I don't need more region tax rate. I need to bump up the growth. Uh, back here in Nice, our capital. We could advance up to the barracks. I don't think that's worth it right now. It's my economy that needs work more than... Um, you know, more than my military. So now we're going to... Yeah, we got our full force here. That's going to move up to Turin. Infrastructure is good there. See, we could upgrade this in uh, Cuneo as well, get a higher tax rate, but it's not a very wealthy region. Uh, we have the infrastructure, but I think Genoa, I think this would be really valuable, because one, it will bump the region into the... Uh, right now we're minus two here, so it would bump it up to at least where it's growing by two each turn. Give a bit of a punishment rate, and also it's a very long region. Uh, stretching literally from here to here. So having that added movement range through the region, I think, will be very valuable. So that's the upgrade we're going to do. Our force is stations there. They should be fully replenished. They are. This force here is replenishing. Let's just see. So we have 46 in this unit. Let's see what that's at next turn. Piedbart, Sardinia, still moving around. They moved an army into my territory. Uh, I don't think they're going to last there too long, guys, if I had to guess. Um, alright, so now they're at 63, yeah, so it's gaining, like, 
not super fast rate. Uh, roads are constructed here. That's very good. You can see we are now growing by three in the settlement per turn. Uh, tax is taking a thir 13 effect. Yeah, okay. Tax rate is something that's kind of difficult when you can't set it. But anyway, um, so that's good. Let's probably want to go take that force out. You know, we got some fresh troops. So, yeah, this set, this city's very happy. A lot of it's because of repression, I guess, but... Um, alright. What up, Piedmont Sardinia? Ah, that's what's going on. The effects... I was wondering, like, why isn't it making the sounds anymore? It's because of the effects. Turn that back on. Um... Yeah, as much as I would love to... I want to take another turn to replenish here. Marche! Yeah, something's glitching out with the effect sounds, but that's okay. We knocked them out of our territory, they retreated. We will retreat back to the settlements for now. And we'll just kind of keep this rolling. There's no there's no time limit on these objectives, no. So we can just go ahead and keep going. Piedmont Sardinia's force there in the woods is large, significantly larger. And yeah, we are replenishing our force here, which is great making some money at the same time. Looks like that industrial center town is rising fairly quickly. Yeah, it, there's something that's... You know what? I'm gonna just save and, and reload here. See if that works. I'll be right back. Okay, um, when I tried to reload, it crashed again. I have no idea what's going on with this game today. It's just, uh, it is really glitching out, and it's kind of frustrating, but it's okay. We will keep going, and we will not worry about that. Um, yeah, we're gaining rate at a low, gaining um, finances at a pretty low rate. Uh, I mean, honestly, I just want the replenishment right now. I want this army back to full strength, so we'll keep ending. We'll just end the turn again. Um, I, they have an army that's almost certainly an ambush stance in that forest right there. Um, I'm almost back to full strength here. But yeah, I don't want to get ambushed in the forest. Absolutely not. What I do want to do, it's good that we're saving up some funds. I think this region, it could be good. See, this region has a lot of wealth. 1213 versus 581 here. And it's going to be growing in three turns when the cobbled roads are done. So why don't we do this upgrade the magistrate that'll give us a bonus to region tax. Uh, tax wealth. And then there's a Tuscan. Yeah, still can't trade with them. I guess I, for some reason, need a sea connection to do so. I can't do it over land. And let's... Yeah, okay. Just kind of keep doing this. Alright, I just know there's... Okay, there's the Piedmont Sardinia force. We're pretty much full strength. That's good enough. Let's go hit them. It's a good position for a battle. Looks like an open field, maybe forest in the back. And we'll start that one. They positioned... Yeah, they don't have any range. No, no artillery. So we will have the artillery advantage. And yeah, we have a, we have a pretty big force here. I mean, this is just generally a huge force that we've got. And, yeah, honestly, I mean, all right, there we go. We'll take these guys. Where's our other Grenadiers unit? Oh, they were mixed in. Take one flank. Take the other flank. Maybe I'll advance with them. And, yeah, we can... Have these guys, Napoleon, behind the cannons, please. Start, and we'll use our range. Oh, okay, a lot more men just popped in. Including some 12-pounder foot artillery. Let's see if we can't get some, take some out. I think we took one out. No, we hit right next to it. Oh. Alright, Napoleon, retreat back and hide, please. Yeah, now that I know they have cannons, we're going to definitely spread the line. Yeah, let's focus here, try to take out their cannons if we can. 
All right, we got we definitely got a hit. Killed one man. Um, maybe let's focus our cannons actually. Over here, where's my dragoons? Dragoons, come out to the flank, please. We're gonna go after those cannons. Oh yeah, they got a hit on me there. Killed, got five. You know, honestly, we could have our cannons look at the general staff as well. What's this? Oh, I missed the Grenadiers unit? Oh. Men, spread into position. Alright, you guys. No, no, melee mode. Charge the cannons, please. Yeah, cannons have done some, some damage. Uh, we can go ahead and we can switch to canister shot because it is almost... Almost time. Yeah, we lost a couple horsemen here uh, on that unit from that unit, but we will knock out their cannons absolutely right here. And friendly fire just took out. I gotta remember to turn them off. Fire at will. Friendly fire just took out a bunch. Um, front line canister shot should be open to fire any second now. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. And the front line should be opening fire as well. Yeah, you can see it out here. We'll push in on the flank. Whole line should be opening fire any second now. And the dragoons, yeah, you guys, they took out the cannons. Maybe go after the general staff. Let's see if we can't get them. Big fight. Look at the, look at this huge front line here. Yeah, Dragoons, charge it on the General. Go, go, go. Alright, we've, we've, we've engaged their General. We should get them here. They've turned and started firing at the Dragoons, but that's alright. Alright, we killed the General. Alright, pull out. Get out of there. Yeah, the, a lot of these units are just like these militia guys. Pretty weak. Come on, guys, let's go. Charge in. Yeah, look, they're, they're turning. A lot of them are turning and routing right away. I don't know why these horsemen are like refusing to charge, but let's get in there, please. Yeah, my, 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 my revolutionary infantry, these, this professional line infantry I have, these, uh, Glorious these units were not, uh, not much of a match. Cannons are just peppering in here with the, uh, canister shot. Gotta love it. Let's go and tell, tell them the halt with my cavalry here. That's just gonna get the routes and clean up the rest of these guys. We're going to continue. I want to take out as many of these men as possible. Yeah, we're just going to, going to try to kind of wipe out some of the line here. There we go. Ah, it's going to take too long. All right. Good win, guys. Good win. Their army's pushed back. Can we go hit him again this turn? Oh, we can. Good stuff. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, same fight. Uh, different battlefield, obviously. We are. We definitely have the inferior um, terrain here. I just start this and uh, immediately let our artillery unload. They don't have any. That's good. They don't have any of their artillery le left here. Yeah, my artillery. Okay, there is some bouncing. 
Yeah, we could deal line infantry plus grenadiers. Why don't you men move into position, please? We'll tell our cannons to stop firing as the men pass through. And this should just be a... Oh, come on. Okay, doesn't work like that. Alright. Should just be a line infantry and grenadier fight, essentially. Rushed forward to a more high ground position. Let's let, let our line get set. Maybe one more barrage here from the cannons. Let them get one more shot off, and then we will tell them to wait. As well as Grenadiers. Let's position out here. Do these guys have farther range than I do? No, we should unload. There we go, there we go. The fight's starting. Come on, men. Fire! There we go. Then this is the line infantry brawl. For a minute here, which we will win. We have the significant numbers advantage. Yeah, you can see here the, uh, I love the detail with, like, the drummers and the flag bearer, and the men in the front line, and then when their guns are loaded, point and shoot. Boom. These guys are going to be on router patrol. That's the plan. Yeah, we want to make sure we take out as much of this force as possible. Push forward on this flank, please. We weren't landing any good shots being on the down slope of a the hill there. Push forward. Yeah, this unit here, I want the I want the flanking shots. This should be a nice barrage that they're able to get here once they're in position. Come on, there we go. Line up. Then shoot. There we go. Yeah, now that unit's really starting to melt. All right, you guys, first suite of routers. Go grab them. How we doing on this flank? Yeah, taking some serious damage. We're gonna push forward. Keep keep the heat on. Keep the heat up on them. Yeah, big big time line battle here. And yeah, we got some good uh, good router control. All right, a lot of their units, yeah, a lot of these, their, most of their units have really taken some pretty heavy losses. No one's really firing at these guys here. Right, you guys go after them. Yeah, this flank has definitely been the superior one. I'm gonna push in. Most of these, this flank is starting to break down. Yeah, there we go. We got our first uh, routing unit. And yeah, these guys have a nice line of fire. You see, I have lost a good amount of men, though. But we'll keep it going. Yeah, we're closing the, closing the field on them. How are we doing up here with the routers? Doing a good job. Back up, yeah, okay, they're, they're all starting to turn and run now. Not many left. Yeah, you can see there, they're moving back. Alright. You guys, back over here, please. There's a unit up there that requires your attention. Yeah, and 
I don't want this. I want as little of this army to come back as possible here. So we're gonna keep on them. Come after those guys. Go after them. There we go. Good job, Ben. Good job. Yeah, really take these guys the out. The man of fatigue, Tara, must rest a while. Alright, these guys... Are these guys catchable? I think so. What are those shots? Huh. Yeah, the horses are, are absolutely exhausted. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Maybe these guys, we will. Well, we definitely will at least get a shot off here. One of our units has yeah, used all its go. ammunition, sir. Do I see some additional routing units this direction? Ah. There's two. How about you guys? Are these catchable over here? Probably not, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's good enough. Alright, we got their remaining men down to 30. Is that enough to finish them off? That is. Alright, good. And now the path to Torino is pretty open. Uh, this settlement? Yeah, they're, they're, they're happy enough. Uh, we don't have much, enough money to really upgrade anything right now. This force here... Yeah, I mean, I should be able to take out whatever that Austrian force is. I, I don't like that they don't have any cannon. But why don't we... Bring in a light cav. Bring in a light cav unit. It's fine. Alright, next turn. Yeah, Austria's moving south. They're in that forest. Oh, god. Alright, Piedmont Sardinia uh, appeared out of nowhere with, uh, with another huge army. A lot of, uh, some militia, but also some line infantry units. Alright, we're jumping right back into attack. Now this army is, is going to be pretty weakened. That's for sure. Maybe I should have just gone and taken Torino in the first place, and then all these armies would have been mine. Well, they would have been my protectorates, but, you know, essentially mine. Um, all right, yeah, yeah, we gotta, we're the defensive force, we're gonna utilize this hill. Uh, oof, that's kind of ugly, all right, artillery, please position atop the hill here. Alright, we can back you up slightly. At the ball. I, I want them really utilizing the... Yeah, misfires are a certainty. Alright, that's fine. These guys... Why don't you position there? Ugh. Little, little bulge. Kind of frustrating. How about here? It's a, that's a pretty solid place to position. Alright. Chasseurs, you're gonna be hidden in the forest. Napoleon, up here with the artillery. Uh, okay, let's do our Grenadiers of the Line unit. Units here. They will be guarding the artillery as well as the path up this mountain. Can we back these guys up slightly? Not really. There we go, like that. That's fine, that's good enough. Alright. And then here's our block of line. Infantry, the chasseurs, yeah, beat down at the bottom of the mountain here. Light infantry behavior. Oh, okay, so if I put them together like that, then trigger it, then they get the really wide line. That's what I want. Alright, line infantry. Can position a bunch of you out on this flank. The rest of you will have to be down here. Is that everybody? Yep, that is everybody. Why don't we actually have our cavalry position them all the way in this forest? Start battle. Yeah, these guys gotta have pretty good range. They sh yeah, they'll open fire any second now. These units down here, yeah, these cannons down here, they're, they're firing right off, the, right off the bat. 
Why don't you fire a target more central in their line? Can I spread these guys out? Yeah, I can. And they're, they're safe from the cannon shots here. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of these men, they're going to be in for, like, the fight of their lives here. We're going to literally bring this line as far out as it will go. You know what? We'll bring the line back a little bit. Make them come over that ridge line towards us. Alright, our other cannons have opened fire. These men are still hidden. We got some militia on this flank. I mean, there's nothing for me to really target with the cav. Just, they got a lot of line infantry here. Like a really annoyingly large amount. I know some of it's militia, but still. Just a lot of men. Alright, we'll have our cannons keep up. These men are almost in position. Yeah, so they're the range. They all have to crest the hill for the firefight to start. That's what I want. You know what? That's that's just no position for these guys. We're gonna bring our bring our cavalry all the way out to the flank here. They're just gonna get picked off by the line infantry if we leave them there. Keep firing cannons. Do everything you can here. Yeah, they're they're taking shots in. I mean, minimal damage, but shots nonetheless. Looks like this flank over here is going to take the first uh, contact. Let's speed this up for a second. Yeah, this is going to be a this is going to be a slog of a battle here. You can already tell. All right, they're almost at the crest. When they do reach it, the battle will commence. Let's go get some pestering shots with my dragoons. Just to kind of mess with them. Then back up, please. About to come into contact over here. Any second now. Yeah, you can see they're about to crest that hill. There we go. And we're opening fire, and the battle has commenced. Alright. Cannons hit them dead in the center. All right, my light infantry are starting to open fire as well. My left flank's the weak one, that's for sure. We're gonna get aggressive with our cavalry over here. They should take a shot before they charge in. Try to envelop some of these men with the cav. They okay. We got the route. We got the route. Can help out the men over here. Yeah, as the the line infantry fight has basically yeah has sprung up all across the line here. Good, good, good. We're doing good. Just 
stay on them. Alright, looks like we got a melee brawl here. Cavalry, turn and hit that militia unit. Then we're gonna go support the melee. They form, they tried to form square, but square formation, but uh, but too late. And let's go hit the, up the infantry here in the brawl. Well done, cavalry. Up, go chase those routers. The infantry on this flank. Reform the line. How we doing over here? Yep, it's just a big, big time trading shots. Some of my men have, yeah, some of my units here have taken pretty drastic damage. Switch the canister, please. This unit is still firing. All right. You guys turn. We getting the canister fire? Yeah, we are. We're getting the canister fire. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Our grenadiers have opened up. This chasseur's unit. It's in a tough spot. They're pretty weak again. Yeah, make sure these men don't come back. How's this side of the line? Very weak in a lot of these units, but we are still persisting. Alright, you guys stop firing. Fire at will. Alright, well, if you've used all your ammo, let's go charge. Where's our... these guys? Alright, go hit the line infantry in here that are active. Active and firing. Go take them out. No, they're getting bogged down. Come on. Come on, keep going after them. Don't get bogged down in melee with other units. Hit those men. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we're doing all right. Boy, the heavy losses in this fight, that's for sure. I'm afraid that... There we go, we did get him. All right. You men. One unit after them. One unit after them. These men are still fighting, still firing. You guys back to round shot. Alright, we're losing over here. Yeah, we got they gotta stay positioned. Alright, we gotta bring our cavalry over here to help this flank. How are we doing over here? Yeah, most of these guys are done. Bunch of these units don't have any uh, don't have any shots left, so we'll just go ahead and charge. All right, cannons, you've done enough. Yeah, we took some pretty drastic losses, that's for sure. Ooh. Grenadiers, get over here. You guys charge. You men, we need the support from the cavalry. These guys, charge them. Where are you going? Come on, charge them. There we go. Yeah, we need the, we need the cavalry in here. Go hit him. Give him in charge. Let's 
What's going on out here? Melee. Alright. Yeah, cavalry's struggling, but we should get it here. Ooh, bam. What a fight, huh? So our cannons take one shot at them. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, route them out. There we go. Jeez. Alright, we got this one Piedmont start to, uh, starting a Piedmont line infantry unit that is holding their own, but we got a relatively, not not fresh, but a, you know, decently full unit of Grenadiers after them. Where are you going? Keep firing at them. Lots of men ran. And yeah, we'll end the battle. Wow, what a fight. Oh. I, they had 2,400 deployed to my 1,000. I won the fight, but I'm down to 365 men. Oh my god. This is... That was wild. This force has got to be weak. It's got to be close to the end if I am. Uh, they routed. Torino, oh my god, there's so many men defending it. Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna go take this force out. One thing I've noticed that's different in this game is you don't get the opportunity to uh, wait if it's like rainy and you don't want it to be rainy. You don't, you know, you don't get the opportunity to, uh, you know, to wait for drier weather or whatnot. Like you just have to dive right in, pretty much. Oh my god, look at our line. Look at what our line infantry has been reduced to. Jeez. These men. We're gonna need to do some good damage with our cannons. Everybody, cannons, you're targeting the general staff. Oh, there was good. Oh, there was good hit. We hit the general. We killed it. Wow. We went from 18 to 4 in the general staff just off that one. That one barrage. That's enormous. That's enormous. Let's go. Way to go. And now we just hit the center of their line. Hit that unit of 87. Yeah, it's all militia, some weak units of line. Yeah, now we just try to devastate them. On the way, and let's actually get... This unit of artillery, you guys can fire at that other unit. Just spread the, spread it out a little bit. Yeah, just keep firing. Grenadiers. We got too many men on this side. Cans fire this barrage and then halts for a minute. Once they fire. Alright, halt up. These units. I need you over here, please. On the double. Alright, these cannons. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. Just get ready with your canister shot. Napoleon to the front. As is your specialty. And then these units here. This side's gonna need a little bit more firepower. So please position accordingly. Cannons. Back to fire at will. When you see an opportunity to use canister shot, take it. Any second now, they should be firing. 
God, what a slog of a fight that was last time. Sardinia Piedmont, huge fight they're putting up. There we go. On load with the canister. Please hit the large units. There we go. All right, and our line is open fire. Yeah, lots of their units are kind of just routing out right off the bat here. Very good sign. We're going to try to do as much cleanup as we can here with our cavalry, but, I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be tough with only, uh, you know, with only seven of them. But I want to make sure none of these guys come back if I can help it. Maybe Napoleon, you can come get involved. Yeah, you guys halt. Alright, good. There comes Napoleon and his general staff. Oof. Jeez. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, Bino, you know, it's definitely a little risky here. Alright, you guys, go hit that. The unit has 62 left. No way can they be allowed to escape. Yeah, we gotta take out as many of these guys as possible. Back to that unit. Yeah, take as many of them out as you can, please. Go ahead, down to 39, 30. Alright, let's go ahead, that unit of 58. Yeah, really run them down. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Yeah, don't let him get out of here. Well done. Well done, Napoleon. So if we catch those guys, I don't think so. We'll try. But they're, they're gonna get out. I don't know if the, the unit routes the moment it touches the edge. Yeah, it does. Alright. Are they still fighting over here? There's actually some of them left. Alright. Let's wipe out the rest of them here. Where's the last guy? Is that him? Oh, sorry, dude. I almost ended the fight, but uh, no. Dragoons are going to come get you. There we go. Alright, we only lost nine. That's good. What? How the heck did that army survive? Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, we're this army's in a very tough spot. There's no doubt about that. And then this army over here may have to fend off an enemy attack. But uh, this video has been going on long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, thank you, everybody, if, uh, for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, you know, please consider leaving a, a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. It helps me grow. And, um, yeah, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.